Then value stream mapping. First, value stream mapping means analyze your product. First, define the scope means what is the objective of your project or production. Your product, suppose you are going to produce a product, you have a product plan, product mapping, computer <coughs> which you can First, the objective is what is the kind of objective that you are going to devise for your product. <coughs> Water resources waste, but there are other methods. 
they are not going to like the artificial colors artificial color like panna podu kadaiyathu ana idhu artificial color illa nu vechukonga and the 20% of difficult customers you know we convince pandra poor chance kadaiyathu puriya so adha not value adu ungala product oda value increase pandrathu increase pandrathila ga idu add pandra vishayamo illa change pandra production process ko value adding process
are going to do the continuous improvement. So that is the final step. So this is how you do the mapping, value stream mapping. First, identify the scope. What is the objective product? Where are we are going to sell? Where are we going to do in this product? Number one. Number two, cross functional teams. So you are going to uh, get opinion from all the teams, like sourcing team, production team, even HR team. All of them are going to get opinion. Then we are going to map the current state. What is the current state? We are going to profit level and gain. How we are sourcing our products? How is our supply chain is working? Then identify value adding and non-value adding things. So which are the things that are adding value to our products? Which are the things that is not adding value? And it's simply waste. Simply waste is all along. That is not value. We are going to add value to our products. Like kind of non-value adding. Then Identify the important bottleneck moments and what are the delays that are happening in the bottleneck moments. Then future state mapping. So after doing or after identifying what are the changes that have to be done in these two steps, we are going to map the future state with a device to profit percentage, device to production, empty source for the whole, device to quality QM metrics, total quality man management metrics. For the number new on the portal or a future state that map for it and the changes. Then after implementing the changes, we are going to review again all the steps and do the continuous improvement process into our product. Okay, we need doubts. One more time, we need to upload.